Greetings, bleepers. How the devil are you? I've just paid £1.93 a litre for diesel. That's how much I'm paying a litre. Let's put £40 in. I'm paying £1.93.9 a litre. £1.93.9. My friends around the world, do, I guarantee you we are paying way, way more. It's just robbery. It really is. £1.93! It's the only place in this area that you can get it they know what they're doing. This whole situation is cannot go on for much longer. Um, you know, as the rich get richer and the poor get poorer, um, it's really gonna affect people. There's no cars on the road. Well, there are cars on the road, but the cars on the road are really, really nice cars, like Lamborghinis and Porsches and things, because nobody else can bloody afford to pay for fuel. So my farmer, uh, who started drilling in the last video, has said he doesn't mind me going on the field after he's drilled it for a couple of days great news but because of the diesel situation um instead of going backwards and forwards to this field i'm i'm just gonna live there <laughs> actually yeah actually live on the field i haven't i haven't told him that but um i'm gonna van camp in or around the field and uh, metal detect it over the next two or three days it's my only option i can't keep on going backwards and forwards because of the price of fuel at the moment and also i don't want to be doing that i can't do that journey every day on bike either so yeah it might be some cool content it might be some good finds come up uh, i'll hit the pathway again that i told you about before that's that's a great place and now he's turned it and i think that he's deep plowed the top of it as well so it'd be interesting anyway this is going to be the next few days is going to be a bit of an adventure a bit of a kind of like little series if you will let's crack on shall we oh yeah look at that view and they gorgeous what a lovely day for um the apocalypse <laughs> i don't know why i've done this again after milk's traitorous endeavors in that previous video um i got myself some hot chocolate just to kind of <laughs> i just need a hug man <laughs> this is my this is my proverbial metaphorical hug and i got myself some cereal like look at these like little boxes teeny little boxes that's air that's rice air that is basically three pound fifty bargain not right you're coming with me you traitorous little week i'm not having happened last time on my put you down there for now sorry about you've seen it now there's no point in trying to hide it because this is a semi-extensive uh trip i've got the jackery i'm gonna power from the sun soul herself will help me on this uh adventure great thing free power free power i don't mind power that i have to pay for a little bit it's when you have to pay extortionate prices for it it becomes a problem there's a jackery herself god love you old girl uh, and then everything else clothes spare clothes detectors are underneath bed bedding you know there's it's the typical thing i've had to hang things because they i just really misbehave when i'm driving um so for this little en endeavor i've got a bunch of quest machines i've got 30 60 and i've got 10 in there I'm going to get the 10 out. It's got a small uh, coil and I want to use that to move in and out of the deep plow. So we'll do that today, I think. We'll kind of focus on that area. Ah, so this was all uh, this was all deep plowed yesterday, but he's drilled it now, as you can see. Oh, this could be really interesting, actually. Because he brought up all that depth. Now he's flattened it again. Oh, exciting times. Didn't really need to bring the tent up here, though. I just found that. No idea what that is. A little goblet for a pixie. Uh, but just to give you an idea of how deep he did go down with the plow, the deep plow, there you go. Just to give you a bit of an idea. That is about, know, about three quarters of a foot, but I saw it in places, it was way, way deeper than that. Cool. Interesting little clasp there. Only interesting in the instance though that I have done this bit here pretty damn well. Uh, so, you know, this little kind of like turnover and plow yeah, it looks like it's going to make the difference it's actually the x10 pro that i'm using today and that is a lovely little signal that is oh hello a bit big actually still a live view on this anyway even though it is slightly large 
Um, I kind of thought it would be a coin or a button situation, but it's, it feels slightly, oh, hold on, what's that there? Let me just come up. Ah, it was a button. Okay, cool. Yeah, I should have trusted my instincts on that one, really, shouldn't I, my friends? Oh, hello, little ladybird. Hope you bring me luck. Whee! All right, okay then. Where was that? It would help if you turned it on, old boy. Then where are you? Ah, nah. Yeah, unfortunately, just a, looks like a bit of a lead there, I think. Nothing interesting, no. That's not a bad little signal there. Oh, what have I notched out here? Something's changed. Need to look at that, but that's not a bad signal at all. Ooh, that's a good one. Right, let's do this one together again, shall we? Let's see if anything nice comes up. Because that is a little peach. That is. I think I need to go back to... Uh, oh, is that big? Oh, come on, probably big iron. Quests are not big iron machines. No, I think it's just a big old stone of some sort. Felt quite close to the surface. Okay, hold on. Nope. Still in there. Let's get in with the probe, mate. Sorry, I don't know why I get Australian. It's uh, just an awesome nod to my, oh, my Australian friends. Right, okay. Uh, uh. Okay, it's there somewhere. Let's come around it. Oh, it's that. Yeah. What for you then, old chap? Oh, I think you're just a bit of old rubbish, aren't you? Yeah, I think so, but uh, you are something. All right, we've got ourselves another bit of lead on this field. Really weird. It looks like a lead hat, doesn't it? A flattened lead hat. Uh, but again, it just feels worked and it did have a purpose probably in some other life. Quite frustrating. Horrible feeling this is gonna be a shot to eat. Oh, I was right, I think. Probably similar. Yeah. I've got real high hopes for this signal. Uh, 79. See it sounding off there. The reason that is because I'm right next to pylons. Right, where are you? Where? Come on, you were such a good signal. Alright, okay. We have ourselves a mystery clod, my friends. Clod full of mystery. Let's poke it and see what happens. Come on, oh, is it a thimble? Is it a thimble? Is it a silver thimble? God, yes it is, and it's a beauty. Oh, oh, oh my God. God, you have saved my day, you have. You have saved my day, it's got writing on it. I can get, oh yes. I am so happy, it's silver. Okay, let's uh, Ford's Crafts. Right, let's let's clean this up and Google it. Well, it's a gorgeous bit of silver, and it's Crawford's biscuits. Mm -hmm. Crawford's biscuits. What's that got to do with a thimble? Crawford's biscuits. Let's Google it. Right. Okay. So it was uh, a kind of thing they did in the twenties to advertise their brand because everybody still use thimbles so it makes sense to put a biscuit brand on the thimbles um, I think they came in biscuit tins and it dates to the 1920s so how cool is that that's a lovely little find I'm well happy with that nice signal but just uh, your little common button well this isn't a bad signal so I thought we'd do it together uh, where have you gone mate mm, bit of a grunt in there though uh, but let's see if any magic comes out of the earth. Okay, I think I might have missed it. Okay, then, okay, then. Uh oh. Ah, oh, no. Bit of a 303. 
and that just looks like a bit of old pistol shot. Well, the skies are darkening and it's getting colder and I think it's just about to rain. I don't really want to be wet, muddy, wet, and then get into the van and have to kip in it. Plus I need to find, make sure that place is okay to kip and I need to sort out grub and I need to sort out a bunch of stuff. So I think I'm going to call this. Um, it's been two and a half hours, I think. It hasn't been good at all. It needs time to settle again, but hey, that's what I've got now for the next couple of days. So I've just got to go with it. Yeah, it is going to pee down in a minute. So I'm going to hit back. Uh oh, I'm being watched. I'm being what? How the hell did you get here, dude? I put you in the... F oh yeah, no, I brought you back to keep you cool. Yeah, I'm being watched. I'm being watched. I'm being watched. The thing is about small villages is that you tend to get watched because you are unusual. You are an alien. You are not from these parts, are you? I don't recognise your big ginger swat. Yeah, busted. <laughs> He's still looking at me. Oh, he doesn't like me. He doesn't like me. It's kind of like a public car park in a way, but it's directly opposite his house. It doesn't shut. It's it's fine. It's... He just said, oh, "Hello, can you uh, can you tell me what you're doing?" I said, "Yes, I've been metal detecting up on that field over there." He said, "All oh, right, okay then. Uh, you're not intending to stay the night, are you? How did he know? How? Yeah, actually, I, I see now that he um, can see through." into a van and probably saw the bed unfortunately um yeah so i mean he's a nice enough guy but i can't be bothered to, i can't be bothered to argue with anybody oh he's coming back out oh he's pointing at me oh yeah i'm gonna go in a minute oh i'm just doing talking to my guys i'm just talking to, just talking to this can i it's not his land or anything. He's got no right to do this, technically. Um, but anyway, that's kind of screwed me up a bit because I've got, um, it's got good internet here and I needed to edit and then upload a video and do a bunch of other stuff. Uh, I've got another place that I want to go. I could go, but it's no internet, it's a forest. Right now, the point of this whole thing was not to waste diesel. And I was set here for the night and now I've got to go a couple of miles in that direction. It's not a biggie, but it's the internet, which is really, Kind of bothering me. Hey, 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 look at that. Dead center of your screen. A rabbit in the clouds. Little things that you don't think of when you come and do it. This. And one of them, for example, just, just getting the van somewhere and parking it somewhere which is relatively flat. Because if you park somewhere like that, or like that, or like that, or like that, you won't get any sleep. It's really, really weird because we've been so conditioned with flat beds. It's horrible. But before I even think about refreshments, or drinks or tea or anything. I've got a load of admin I need to do. And admin in this instance is um, sending out Patreons addicted to bleep stickers. Basically, I got all of these stickers and I kind of went, I don't really know what to do with these. It costs money. I don't want to give them out for free, which is what I am doing to the Patreons because they support me. So it's not really free, but I've offered them all some stickers if they want them i'll send them out free of charge they look like this and they look like i've got some smaller ones as well that i'll also throw out and i didn't want to um kind of charge people for them because that's ridiculous but at the same time i don't want to give them out for free little ones as well so just easier to give them to my patrons so now i'm writing some addresses down oh yeah and then i've got to get stamps apparently they're really expensive now as well well that's if i had access to a pen which i apparently don't um yeah could have sworn there was a pen in here somewhere uh yes Sorry guys, it's gonna yeah, be a little bit later than expected. It will get there though, I promise. This isn't a great place to set up because yeah, I 
I'm on a main road. It's a really, really quick road. And it's just long and people just zoom across it. But the internet's fantastic. And when you come like van camping, little things like that become really, really important. Right, 95%, let's charge. I'm not gonna go out with the X10 Pro again tomorrow. I'm gonna hit the X30, I believe. So I don't need to charge that up now. So basically, computer, iPad, phone. I could have sworn I asked you guys to remind me to uh, get a spoon. Should be fun. I decided not to go with the hot chocolate. I'm just gonna go with a normal old cup of chard. Why are you lying like that, you traitor? I believe there's not one pen in this whole van. <laughs> or spoon. It's kind of crazy. There has been, in the past, a spoon and a pen. Of this I know. But now they are just mere legends. Myths to tell our children. Why is it when I make a cup of tea in the van, only in the van, it always has these weird bits floating about on top of it. Like ugly freckles. Oh, maybe it's a mirror. You know, it's not even five o'clock and I already feel like bedways is the right ways now. I've got lots of editing to do on my book as well. Oh, it's the football tonight. Found a pen. Thanks, Rutus. I'm not entirely sure what's happened to my lights. They look a bit flaccid. Maybe we'll keep this door open and then shut it when it starts raining. Right, let's get on with these. Uh, doing these envelopes. They're in the front cab, aren't they? Yeah, of course they are. Great. See how the van shakes when a car goes past. No COVID, guys. They're the peely ones. Not that I've got COVID, but you don't want my tongue sweat over everything, do you? Ah, now I'm just going to sit and relax for a little bit. I've just had some sandwiches. That sorts me out for today. Could be more difficult tomorrow, so I've got to actually find something to eat. But for this evening, I reckon I'm good. And that's my that's my view out there. I've forgotten about the lights I'll deal with them later <sighs> that is relaxing oh it has started raining how's this for a weird back to the future time flip my friends look you're looking at me looking at you looking at me looking at you you're watching this video which is being edited here but I'm back to the future so I haven't actually released it yet weird Anyway, I was right about that rain. Listen. Oh, I love that fresh rain smell. Oh, that's nice. That's so nice. Yeah, I am really hungry. I thought I could do this. But I'm gonna have to cook some noodles, I think. <laughs> Which means I've got to go out in the rainish. Oh, feels like it's a race against time. We got ourselves some Riva with chicken flavor. Flavour, not, ch yeah. Um, ah, don't you burn, you fool. Get up there. With natural vegetables and herbs. Hoorah! And mackerel. This has been in there for about two years now. Sure, it'll be fine. We'll soon find out when I open that bad boy. I could just consume fish until forever. I do love fish. Okay, um, should I have, ooh. Some seasoning, spice it up. Chili garlic. Ho ho ho! We got ourselves some chili garlic. Ho ho ho! We eat tonight, my friends. Look at that. Comes with four bits of sweet corn. Woohoo! Right, okay, we've got our chilies in there now. Chili garlic. Got some nice ramen on the go. It's going to turn into some nice soup. Didn't go with the fish, it's a bit. 
bit twangy. Bit of a strange aftertaste there. <clears throat> but I'm sure it'll be fine. <laughs> I'm going in. I'm going in. But I'm not going to go in while you guys are watching me. Because there's one thing I don't, I don't like eating noises. Number one. Even when I go back and edit myself eating. Oh, disgusting. Number two. People that eat on camera. No, 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 no. no. But I'm going to call it there, I think. Get back and edit. Um, thank you for watching this slightly unusual video hope you enjoyed it some way and we're just gonna crack on with part two tomorrow with me waking up and getting out there god that fish does not smell good thank you for watching my friends i'll see you in the next video